Yeah, for the drought for the property, it's, it's pretty much dried it right up. We've been in oh, a fair bit of drought now for really noticed it the last 12 months. Um, we've been buying feed now for close to eight months. Um, it was only like a couple of round bales a week. Now it's getting to the point where we're buying, you know, five to ten round bales a week. And that's now, even if we can get them, you walk across the paddock, there's cracks in the ground um, that, that will go for 20 odd feet. And you can shine a torch and you won't see the bottom of the crack. I've dumped, in the previous drought before this one, I've dumped a thousand litres of water down one of them holes that was stagnant water and never even filled it. And this drought is worse than that time. I still don't like asking for help, but um, I've got a few farmer friends uh, on the way home that we've gone to offer some excess produce that we've got from here and they're so reluctant to take it. It's like, oh, we're right at the moment, but you can tell when they say at the moment, they're on their way to, you know, rock bottom. Our, our place is pretty well fenced. Um, we're in amongst a few other uh, cattle properties and some of the properties there, the, the farmers have pulled their cattle out of those paddocks and our cows are actually going to the bottom wire, putting the head under and lifting up and crawling on their, their front knees to get into their paddock. And, you know, I feel bad for, for, for him because my cattle keep sneaking through, but, you know, to run another lot of fencing again, that's more cost that most farmers just don't have at the moment. And this is where, again, this place is coming in because it's giving you that little bit of extra money if, you know, your pump breaks down or, or you need to buy a little bit of fencing. You may have that little bit of cash spared, but at the moment, a lot of farmers haven't even got the money for the, um, to feed their animals, let alone fix anything on their properties. Oh, the support of this, yeah, yeah, definitely. It's, um, it's made a big difference because when you are starting to run out of your, your other main stuff, you've always got these extra little things in the pantry. And, you know, if you're not lazy and you want to cook something up, you know, it's, it's not like just going to McDonald's, you actually open your pantry and there's still something in there where beforehand you're using all your main supplies and then you're starting to run low, you open your pantry, you might only have one tin of baked beans and, you know, and, and when you're trying to support your children, you feel bad as a parent for not having a full, full cupboard to start with. So this makes a big difference when the kids see the car pull up with all the boxes and all the food, it's instant, you know, smiles, even though you know, like if we're working five days a week, yeah, we'd change our, our plan, but at the moment this is pretty much perfect for our situation.